Okay, so great advice, uh, Christian. This has been fantastic. Um, so it's making me think already of the things I need to do in my own, uh, my own business here as well. So I hope you're getting the same as well. So we're going to focus now uh, a little bit now on, uh, we're away from the website now, but to, get to, to talk about this, getting on page one of Google. I mean, uh, this is so important. As, as right. you probably, and I know it's a subject very close to your um, heart. So tell yeah. us a bit about this page one and why do we need to be on page one of Google? Okay, why page one of Google? I've said this before, okay, at, um, at the dentistry show once. Uh, there is no such thing as page two. Mm. There is no page two. There is only page one. Mm. People would rather search in Google again and again and again and just look on page one instead of clicking that number two button. Mm. And the only people that click on number two, number three, are the people looking for their rankings and finding out where they are. Right. Or where they're not. Well, where they're not. So Google page one is, is, is where the buyers are. Mm. Yeah, so if you wanna um, grow your business, if you wanna attract the ideal patient, if you want to get new bookings, if you're really serious about your business, then you must be on Google page one at least for your own name, mm. at least for your own name. And if you're not, forget it. If you're not, if you can't even be on page one for your own name, you, you, you need to be number one for your own name. Yeah, you yeah. need to be number one on page one for sure. your own name. Sure. If you can't achieve that, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah, yeah it's another, another thinking. So how do you get to page one? How, how, how do dental practices get to page one then? What's the secret? Well, you sign up with Dental Focus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. That's a given. That's a given. Okay, yeah. So Google page one has totally evolved over the last 12 years. You know, in, in 2000, in the year 2000, when I was at the London School of Economics, um, I had high-speed broadband in my, my dorm room and I was, I was creating my, my, social media, mm. my social networking website, my sure. own one. And we got to 20,000 20, members, 10,000 in the UK, 10,000 in the US. And this is, this is where, when I, I was doing my accounting degree, and, uh, but because of the dot-com boom, I was trying to become my own internet millionaire, creating mm. the, the Facebook. Mm. And, um, and I got to number one for download free films on Google and Yahoo, mm. and that was in 2001. And since then, uh, whether it was mouth cancer, which became the rise of the Mouth Cancer Foundation mm. and people wanting to make donations because they found us, um, and then from uh, you know, uh, Dental Implants London and, and, and moving on cosmetic dentistry, can, mm. and, and moving on forward, Google page one has always been, been a real passion of mine. Mm. And to see it evolve over the years has been, has been very interesting. And you know what? History repeats itself mm. and there are a lot of uh, cyclical things that happen. And that's why it's good to know what's happened back in 2001 mm. because you can see the behaviors and you can see, okay, so well, that's, how, that's, that's the mindset of mm. the evolution of, of Google mm. and, and what it's considering important. Mm. Google page one is all about relevancy. Mm. It always has been, okay? Mm. So how relevant are you? And are you the most relevant? So when you say relevance, just to, to explain to me mm. what, what you actually mean. Okay, so back in 2001, relevant yeah. just meant, okay, keywords. Do you have the keywords dental implants and London on your page, okay? Do you have those keywords? And then how many people link to you, right? Let's just count the links. Let's see how popular you are. That's making you mm. relevant through the evolution of that, okay, now let's see who's linking to you and count those links and see mm. how many dental websites. And through the evolution of that, let's now check whether you're spamming right. your, your website content. You know, is the keyword density too high? Right. So, and then through the evolution of that, okay, you've got a one page website, but the ones that we saw are successful back in 2001 and the ones that actually are the most successful are big websites, huge websites. So if you've got 30 pages, 50 pages, you've got a good chance, chance of being on page so, one. So to yeah. really have a lot of content, make sure it's... It was a lot of content. Yeah. Google's looking for big websites. Content, yeah. yeah. Um, and then through that, okay, so then if you've got strong links, right? If you've got links from the BBC, if you've got strong links through PR. Right, right? that helps. So that, that would help tremendously. Right. Okay, so not just how many links, but then who's linking who's to you? Who's linking you? And then through the evolution of that, it became... Right. 
it's pretty much a minefield. Yeah. <laughs> there are about 200 other factors in terms of what Google weighs, and, but today, today the most important factors are relevant content in terms of the wording, yeah. getting the keywords on your website, and then making sure you grow that content, right. and then distributing that through social media. Right, so it's content, 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 content. And activity. And activity. Thank you.